I'm going to show you how to get a legendary yellow padded vest for free, even in the early game. So it's going to be on this area right here, on this part of the map. But before I show you where it is, I'm going to show you a way you can get here early game before getting any way to cross over to this place. Because you need some way to cross water to glide over to get here. But there's actually another way to get here. I'm going to show you. Okay, so I loaded back to a different spot I was in. So in order to get here, you're going to have to go across these bridges up to here. You're going to want to put on some gear to give you extra Kai energy to make sure you can jump across this gap right here. You're going to go across through this. You're going to jump across this gap through the water. You're going to go across this place. And then you can go across these little islands. There's a little like uh, beacon or whatever uh, buoy for you to land on right here to get your Kai back. Finish the crossing. And then you get to this. And now in order to cross this to this... You've got to get on this bridge, but this bridge is not easy to get onto. There's only one way I found to get on this bridge, and that is to single jump against this and then go for the double jump up onto that branch. And once we get on that branch, we can barely make it onto that. So let's see if I can get this now. This is kind of tough. I might be able to jump off this one's own branch, actually. No, that's easier. Okay, never mind. That's easier. So now you're going to want to carefully walk to the end of this. At a certain point right here, you'll see yourself go down, and that's as far as you can go. The tree isn't real past this point. Now you're going to go forward and double jump and then come off the wall and try to get up like that. It's a total pain in the ass, but it's uh, totally doable. I've done it before. Now that you got past this point, also I probably should have told you, you're going to want to mount just a horse, whatever. Uh, I don't know that you necessarily need it for this point, but it'll definitely guarantee that you'll make the jump. But you definitely need the horse for the next point. So you're going to run to the end of this. You're going to jump, and then you're going to jump off the horse. And then the horse will drown. And that's okay. So now we're going to get up here. And I'm just going to go ahead and summon the horse because we got to run a little ways. There's only one way I've found to get to this next point. And again, I'll need, I'll actually for sure need the horse at this point. So we're going to take the left here and follow the road. And when you get to the end of this road, there should be a bunch of rocks up here. And this will let you get to a special area. Actually, I don't think you need to go up the rocks. You can get on right here. Okay, never mind. we can get on right here, I think. I didn't notice this the first time. You just walk up. Good, good. We walk up here. But we still need the horse. Doesn't change anything about what I thought before. So, I'm going to go through here. There's a grass hoop if you want to jump through it. And you get through here. And somewhere in here, the ground is going to stop. And you're going to fall off. Kind of want to scout it out if you want to. It's going to be right around here. You're going to want to jump as far as you can at the horse and Don't then jump off the horse. So jump with the horse and then jump off the horse. And now you can make it across and the horse will die again. This will get you to this area. Also, there's a Lumen Shrine right there. A crazy battle going on. That's not what we're interested in in this video. Instead, we are going over to here now. And then you should be able to cross right over here. Now, obviously, if you want to, you can just wait till later in the game when you get a tool that will let you either glide over to this or uh, just swim over to it, basically. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far in the game, but I'm almost 100% sure there's going to be something like that in the game. But uh, So we're going to keep going like this. Got over to the next place. Now to save some time, we're going to call the horse. Uh, oh, here he is. Okay. Keep going. So now we're on that island that I showed you in the beginning. There's a road on that island that goes up the hill. It splits two ways. And if you take the left, it'll take you to this right here. So let me just backtrack it a little bit. You'll see the fork in the road down there by this boss. Be sure to take this one right here. Come up to this. 
We're gonna run up this hill, and at the very top of this hill, you'll see a weird, cryptic-looking shrine. Really creepy-looking shrine, actually. So right here, there's a shrine with a bunch of corpses uh, around it. And you're gonna go up to it, you're gonna interact, and you're gonna dig it out. And there it is, the yellow padded vest. Legendary with decent quality and Diam X. It has 48% radioactivity resistance. I think that's what, or that might be bio resistance actually. Uh, and you need level 15. And it is armor 70 with two add on slots. It's a pretty good piece. You also get a health pack from here. And uh, so there you go. If you're wanting to know where to find uh, level 15 legendary yellow padded vest in bio mutants you can grab you can grab it at any level but you won't be able to put it on until level 15 but you can go and grab this at any time you want although it might be wise to wait till later in the game when you have like a glider or whatever so you can get over here more reasonably but if you do want to just go over here and get it early just because that's just how you play the game then you can do what i showed you and get over through this way get over here and then fast travel out of here when you are done but now you know where to get the legendary yellow padded vest in bio mutant